بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ صلی اللہ محمد محمد ویورس آئی اگین ویلکم یو آل ٹو دی نیو ایپیسوڈ آف آنٹرپرینور شپ سیریز ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دا بزنس پلان فار دا نیو وینچر اینڈ دس ایپیسوڈ نمبر ٹین ول ڈسکرائب دا مین اسٹیپس فار کریٹنگ اینڈ اسٹارٹنگ دا نیو وینچر اینڈ دیٹ از آل اباؤٹ دا بزنس پلان سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹڈ دا مین کانٹینٹس کمپرائزز آف exploring the entrepreneurial profile of Belinda Gordorama then we will explore what is the business plan and who should write the business plan after that i will share the functional elements of the business plan and that includes the production plan operation plan marketing plan organization plan and finance plan and at the end we will get to know about the assessment of risks and we will explore why some business plans fail Brenda Gordorama is the entrepreneur of today's episode for inspiration. The business plan is often criticized as being dreams of glory. It is probably the single most important document to the entrepreneur at the startup stage. Potential investors are not likely to consider investing in any new venture until the business plan has been completed. No one knows this better than the Brenda Gordorama. the president and ceo of jc micro corporation her company supplies computer hardware and software to fortune 1000 companies as well as the defense and aerospace industry as the entrepreneur of multi million dollar company belinda was recognized by two hispanic organizations the us hispanic chamber of commerce and the latin business association as hispanic business movement of the year 2002 Her firm has been consistently ranked among the 500 largest Hispanic-owned companies and each of the last three years has received the Boeing Performance Excellence Award and the U.S. Department of Agriculture Women-Owned Business Contractor of the Year Award. Although today she is a successful entrepreneur, the journey was a long and difficult process with a number of highs and lows. After graduating from Trinity University, and taking a number of graduate courses at the University of Texas she began working for the Texas Attorney General as the director of personal and training she later moved to California during the 1980s technology boom to work for a mail order software company like many others she arrived at work one day to find a note on the door indicating that the business was closed At that point Belinda made the decision to start her own business. She felt it was a great time to take some risks since she had no job and limited prospects. In 1986 with a few former co-workers she launched JC Micro Corporation to raise initial capital and money for the other expenses. While a business plan was being developed, she sold her house and cashed in her retirement money. Eventually with business plans in her hands she began knocking on door to doors try to raise money for the startup it was then that she began to face some of the lows in the entrepreneurial process as she incurred one rejection after another she could not even get a bank to lend her $5000 to keep going fortunately she persisted until she came up the small business administration spa loan program that guarantees a large percentage of a loan to a local person participating bank after submitting her plan to this program she received her first loan from a local bank raising the startup capital only one of the early obstacles that she overcame being a woman and a latin she had to overcome many negative stereotypes in one meeting with a potential client she was told that as a minority woman she didn't have sufficient management qualification to present its product line and was hence turned down however her hard work and persistence paid off at the end of the first year of the business the company attained revenue of $200,000 with this success the client had turned her down changed his mind and she became an authorized dealer for his products Well viewers it's really sound great and encouraging especially for all the women who want to do something purposeful in their lives. The success followed Belinda and soon she was pursuing contracts with the US Department of Defense 
In researching this market, she discovered that many government contractors are required to include a percentage of minority-owned businesses, presenting great opportunities for her venture. However, as she continued to investigate her opportunities, she found she was blocked from records to which had previously had access. She decided to pursue this in court, knowing that this could put her entire business on the line. Eventually, she won her case after several years. Her reputation as someone not afraid to take a stand and with strong leadership skills spread throughout the industry. The company has become one of the few just-in-time system contract suppliers. Well, viewers, you can see that Belinda's success is a tribute to the, her strong entrepreneurial character. She was not afraid of the hard work required to plan her business and she was not afraid to stand up for what she felt was right. Her commitment to the community has made her an inspiration to many other Hispanic businessmen and women. JC Micro Corporation has now 14 warehouses across the US and is an authorized dealer for about 200 manufacturers such as Sun Microsoft, Microsystem, IBM, Storage Tech, Cisco, Dell, Apple, and Sony. Now with 30 employees, sales revenue has reached $35 million. So it was an interesting and moral boosting struggle story of a brave woman. The business plan is a written document prepared by the entrepreneur that describes all the relevant external and internal elements involved in starting a new venture. It is often an integration of functional plans such as marketing, finance, manufacturing, and human resources. As in the case of Belinda Guadarama, it addresses the integration and coordination of effective business objectives and strategies when the venture contains a variety of products and services. It also addresses both short-term and long-term decisions, making for the first three years of operation. Thus, this business plan is sometimes rendered to as the game plan or roadmap that answers the questions like where am I now, where am I going, and how will I get there. Potential investors, suppliers, and even customers will request or require a business plan. We saw in the opening example of this video how Belinda Guadarama used a business plan to address these questions. Who should write the plan? The business plan should be prepared by the entrepreneurs, lawyers, accountants, marketing consultants, and engineers. These are useful in preparation of the plans. The internet also provides a wealth of information as well as an actual sample templates or outlines for business planning. In this video, the functional elements of the business plans are discussed briefly. In next coming episodes, these elements will be shared in detail separately. If the new venture is a manufacturing operation, a production plan is necessary. This plan should describe the complete manufacturing process. The plan should describe the subcontractor including location, reason for the selection and the cost, and the contracts that have been completed, physical plant layout and machinery, equipment needed to perform the manufacturing process, raw materials and supplier names and addresses and cost of manufacturing and any further capital equipment needs. Operation Plan All businesses manufacturing and non-manufacturing should include an operation plan as part of the business plan and describes the flow of goods and services from production to customers. It might include inventory or storage of manufacturing products, shipping, inventory control procedures and customer support services. It is important to note that the major distinction between services and manufacturing goods is services involved. These are intangible performances. This implies that they cannot be touched, seen, tasted, heard, or felt in the same manner as manufactured products. Airlines, hotels, car rental agencies, theaters, hospitals. These firms' performance are often depends upon location, facility, layout, and personnel, which can in turn affect the service quality. Marketing plan is an important part of the business plan since it describes how the product or service will be distributed, priced, or promoted. 
specific cost costs for a product or service are indicated in to project the profitability of the venture. Potential investors regard the marketing plans as critical to the success of the new venture. Marketing planning will be an as usual requirement for the entrepreneur and should be regarded as the roadmap for short term decision making. The organizational plan is the part of the business plan that describes the venture's form of ownership that is proprietorship, partnership, or corporation. If the venture is partnership, the terms of the partnership should be included. If the venture is corporation, it is important to detail the shares of the stock and shares options as well as the names, addresses, and resumes of the directors and officers of the corporation. This information provides the potential investors with a clear understanding of who controls the organization and how other members will interact in performing their management functions. Like the marketing, production, and organization plans, the financial plan is an important part of the business plan. It determines the potential investment commitment needed for the new venture and indicates whether the business plan is economically feasible. Generally, three financial areas are discussed in this section of the business plan. First, the entrepreneur should summarize the forecasted sales and the appropriate expenses for at least the first three years with the first year's projections provided monthly. It includes the forecasted sales, cost of goods sold, and the general and administrative expenses. Net profit after taxes can then be projected by estimating income taxes. The second major area of financial information needed is cash flow figures for three years with the first year projection provided monthly. The last final items needed in the second in this section of the business plan is the projected balance sheet. This shows the financial condition of the business at a specific time. It summarizes the assets of a business, its liabilities and the investment of the entrepreneur and any partners and retained earnings. It is important that the entrepreneur make an assessment of the risk in the following manners. First, the entrepreneur should indicate the potential risk to the new venture. Next, should discuss the strategy that will be employed to either prevent, minimize, or respond to the risks should they occur. Major risks for a new venture could result from a competitor's reaction. Weaknesses in the marketing production management team and new advances in the technology that might render the new product obsolete. Generally, a poorly planned business plan can be blamed on one or more of the following factors. Goals set by the entrepreneurs are unreasonable. Objectives are not measurable. The entrepreneur has not made a total commitment to the business or to family. The entrepreneur has no experience in the planned business. The entrepreneur has no sense of potential threats or weaknesses to the business. No customer need was established for the proposed product or services. So viewers, just quickly wrap up the whole session. This episode has established the scope and value of the business plan and has outlined the steps in its preparation. In this episode, comprehensive discussion and outline of a typical business plan is presented. Each key element in the plan is discussed briefly and the information gathering process is described and examples are provided. The risk assessment process is discussed. In addition, some insights as to why business plans fail are discussed. Alright viewers, from this episode we can say that planning is a process that never ends for a business. So inshallah next episode will deal with the steps in preparing the marketing plan for a new venture in detail along with another new success story of another entrepreneur. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding these topics, you can write to me at this email address or to these social accounts. And please don't forget to share this video and contribute your part to spread the knowledge and subscribe my channel Spread the Light for more informative videos. So viewers, that was all about today's session. Hope to see you again with another new episode with some more interesting topic and knowledge materials. Till then, have a safe time and stay blessed always.